Welcome to GRE Mnemonics video number 76. A quick review of video number 75. An office building was on a ship. Sitting from here, a man corrected the course. Think of the office as a converted museum. The ship went motionless as it got stuck in a big layer of ice. The ship's captain said, Be calm. All the children got on the ice and played with paint. They had smeared all the paint on a bed on the ice. Suddenly, a boy got stuck in a giant bow on the ship. From the deck, the captain gestured and soldiers arrived for help. She pointed out to the boy's neck. Let's learn and understand today's set of GRE words. Be deck to cover with ornament clue. Decorate a deck with covers. Visualize a man stood on a deck to decorate the halls. If you bedeck your house with streamers and balloons, you will feel prepared for your brother's surprise party. To bedeck is to decorate or embellish. Some people like to bedeck their house homes in inside and out during various holidays. In December, you might bedeck your front door with a wreath, your card with inflatable Santas and candy canes, and your indoor Christmas tree with tinsel and lights. You don't hear bedeck's root, the verb deck, all that often, but it appears in the Christmas carol, deck the halls, and it comes from the Middle Dutch decken, as in to cover. Efface, rub or wipe out, make indistinct as if by rubbing. Clue, rub face. Visualize. The lady of the house reports her face rub replaced by an eraser. Teachers get annoyed to find that someone has effaced the blackboard. Even the part marked do not erase. If something is erased or rubbed out, it has been effaced. You can also efface things that are not physical like effacing feelings, impressions or memories. When you efface a memory, you wipe it out as well. Some people believe that their good deeds can efface their past wrongs. Educe to draw out. Clue news to deduce. Visualize. An investigator gets to know the news and starts to deduce from the evidence. An artist sketching on scratch paper might later educe a painting from the casual sketches. When you educe, you first see the potential in something and then develop it. Educe can also be used as a synonym for deduce, meaning to reach a conclusion. Suppose members of a jury want to decide whether someone is guilty of stealing, they use the facts in the case to educe the thief's motivation. Educe comes from the Latin word ducer, meaning lead. Think of educe as leading to something else. Bedlam Madhouse Clue Bed lamp in mental asylum Visualize Trails led to a bed lamp in an institution where care was given to mentally ill people. It was in a terrible condition. If you allow football fans onto the field after the big game, it will be pure bedlam. Bedlam is a scene of madness, chaos or great confusion or pandemonium. The term Bedlam comes from the name of a hospital in London, St. Mary of Bethlehem, which was devoted to treating the mentally ill in the 1400s. Over time, the pronunciation of Bethlehem morphed into Bedlam and the term came to be applied to any situation where pandemonium prevails. Effectual, able to produce a desired effect, valid, clue, chewing gum, very effective. Visualize. The investigator's tobacco effectively removed two issues, one of the midges in the hospital and the other his tobacco addiction. Chewing sugar-free gum is one of the effectual ways to curb smoking and avoid tooth decay. The most effective method of avoiding cavities? Brush, floss, chew sugar-free gum, lay off the candy, and see your dentist every six months. 
Effectual means good at achieving the results you want. Wait, aren't effectual and effective basically the same adjectives with same meaning? Well, generally speaking, yes. You might note that effectually actually describes something that produces the desired result, but in a big way. Effective comes, sorry, effective gets the job done. No one is going to call you out for using either word interchangeably, though as long as it's done effectually. Let's summarize using this short story. A man stood on a deck to decorate the halls. The lady of the house reports her face rub replaced by an eraser. An investigator gets to know the news and starts to deduce from the evidence. Trails lead to a bed lamp in an institution where care was given to mentally ill people. This institution was in a terrible condition. The investigator's tobacco effectively removed two issues. One of the midges and the sugar-free gum, his tobacco addiction. Time for a quiz. Do you remember the word which means rub or wipe out, make indistinct as in by rubbing? Do you remember the meaning of the word bidek? Do you remember the word as well as the meaning associated with this mnemonic? We hope you got all three of them right. In case you haven't, please feel free to watch the video again. Let us know about your experience here till we meet next with the next set of GRE words. Thank you.